It is a story that has become very familiar across our area and even across the nation at this point. And now it marks another year with no answers. Beloved news anchor Jody Who's in Troop vanished without a trace 28 years ago today. And in Mason City, those that knew her, that loved her, and those that are still working every day to uncover the truth came together to honor her. Our Maisie Olson has more on the anniversary of Jody's disappearance. This is the morning that Jody was supposed to have, coming into work here at KIMT News 3 to anchor the morning show. But when she didn't show up for work hours later, people knew something was wrong, sparking a case that 28 years later still remains unsolved. I'm just scared, you know, if this can happen once, it can happen again, and it's not supposed to happen in Mason City, Iowa. On June 27th, 1995, a blanket of fear lay over this small town. Welcome back to Daybreak and to our one hour morning show. It's a rainy Monday morning, June 26th. This would be the last time Jody Who's in Truth would light up people's TVs before she vanished, her story going dark. I would like to confirm that we are officially uh, classifying this as an abduction today. Police, 28 years later, still no closer to a suspect. This parking lot where Jody vanished still holds so many questions. What happened to Jody Who's in Truth and who's responsible? Investigators hope come this time next year, they know. The unknowing, the not knowing is, is the nightmare. That blanket over Mason City, now one of grief, as another year passes without Jody. 28 years since we last saw her smile, heard her laugh, or had a chance to hug her and tell her how much we love her. Missing for nearly three decades, she's still on the minds of those who knew her. I think of Jody pretty much. At some point every day, you can't not think of Jody. It just gets back to we want justice. We want somebody to be found. They hope events like this ceremony outside of KIMT will keep Jody's case in the spotlight, hoping someone who knows something will say something. We continue to pray that someone will come forward with the missing piece that will finally solve this case and give Jody the justice that she deserves. I don't do the travel first. Oh yeah, first I do the news, you're right. Then right. I do the okay. news. Okay, good thinking, way to go. Okay. Reporting for ABC6 News, I'm Maisie Olson.